Hello everyone, welcome back to Surviving Mars, the 10,000 Colonies Challenge. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, let us thank you for returning. Okay. So this is, a, if you haven't seen the first episode, please go back and watch it. Uh, we are doing a 10,000 Colonies Challenge with no DLCs, because DLCs, uh, are, in my opinion, make the challenge much more easier. So, we are trying to up our research currently, and our rocket is on Earth, so we can buy rocket short circuit. What? Uh, rocket Sledgehammer 1 has safely landed on Earth. The replacement of all onboard electronics has resolved the issue. In fact, we learned a lot uh, about our rockets during uh, the repairs and the full review of the design has found several possible improvements to future de uh, designs that can reduce our production costs. Rockets cost decrease by 25%. Now that's uh, that's a good news. We needed that. So we are already clearing the land a little bit. But back to the rocket uh, because we want to do uh, the SETI satellite because of the money. Uh, and that uh, money can finance uh, the other satellite, the high high speed satellite so what we need at least 30 let's make that 40 and let's bring some machine parts as well Okay, the rocket is on its way. Let's uh, check the scanning. We couldn't start with the ramp uh, just yet, so basically that's it. Because I haven't released the first uh, episode, uh, I have no feedback from you guys. If you prefer uh, that I just keep ahead of the dull parts or or maybe we can the video or if you would like i can uh, sector scan i can left the whole thing so i don't don't edit anything out uh please comment down your preferences whoa Yeah, we have a, a pretty heavy meteor activity currently, and that's what the, and that we will have that the whole game. And because there is no terraforming, the meteorites will uh, stick with us. Now we are almost research uh, this log G hydrosynthesis, which will allow us to build fuel refineries because our rockets need a lot of fuel and the mission, the two satellite missions also uh, will need extra fuel. So we need to make at least another your refinery. And I think we might need a little bit of more power as well.
Research complete. And now we can build it. be off during the night I'm thinking maybe we can produce fuel during night if we construct a water tower but it's not it's not the water the problem it's the energy the problem okay let me stay like this Now all we need to do is wait for the uh, the rocket to return. Now a rocket is uh, arrived, and we quickly sending this on this mission. And it will need a lot of fuel. Unfortunately. Also, we will start constructing a ramp up here. And I think this will be the spot. Let's check it. like the ramp we built here and like that and it will require a lot of waste stock Unfortunately, we have. A lot of waste. Let's send these there as well. After the touchdown and the initial busy hours, you allow yourself a couple of hours to read the top secret Big Red folder, which has been lying in your safe for a long time. The folder implies that one of our mission imperatives is to set up the infrastructure and industry required to construct, operate and confirm the usefulness of an experimental device of epic proportions and wondrous effects. Constructing such a project on Earth is undesired, either because it poses too much danger or because it cannot be hidden from prying eyes. You read the title of the project again. Interesting. Project Mohol. Now we are really, really lucky. Because if we can build that, our mining problems are over. We basically have uh, infinite raw materials. And we just got the technology, yes, we still have to research it, but only 10,000. That can be achieved. Now, we have found a new anomaly, and we will scan it with the explorer. It will be a breakthrough. In the meantime, I've decided to not bring any more waste rock for this ramp because it's not a high priority to build it. And we can use the waste rock we are producing from the concrete extractor Anomaly and the 
Mm, another anomaly. And the water extractor. So I rather using those base rocks uh, to build the ramp. Oh, it's a science anomaly. And we can go up there. I bring the explorer here. If we can. Maybe we have to clear something here. But we'll find out. Let's check this breakthrough. Breakthrough discovered. Dome streamlining. What's that? Dome cost 50% less basic resources. Oh, I, I put that in, but I, I didn't want it. Now let's see if this explorer can make it. Okay, it can make it. Now we have to decide use for our current research or just put it in the mohole mine i think we will use it for our current research because if we finish this one that will grant us a research bonus oh so it cannot that's rather unfortunate So we need to Where's the landscaping oh here yeah. meteor shower incoming so now we will have a meteor shower in 16 hours. So we are going back to base. But I risk uh, the scanning. Also, where are the other rovers? And let's get back to base. Because if a meteor hits one of the rovers, it will be near the drones who can repair Research it. Complete. Great. We have the Explorer AI, which means our research points are increased. And in the meantime, uh, the rocket started the mission. So let's meteor incoming. Okay. But this is a bad thing. Especially that we need uh, machine parts to fix it. And that wasn't the meteor storm. That was just a random meteor. Uh, no, I didn't want to. Didn't mean to do that. And it will be a two soul long. Okay, it is starting there.
If it starts drops, uh, resurge anomalies, then that ramp will be a high priority. We'll see. I think it's moving uh, this direction. So we are safe for now. Our rocket is almost finished the project and the ramp is almost complete. We survived the meteor storm and let's check the polymer situation up here. Okay, we earned a few. And a few metals as well. And here we are. Our very own SETI satellite has been delivered and launched into Mars orbit. It is now operational and will contribute towards the decade, uh, decades old mission of, of finding signs of intelligent, uh, intelligent life elsewhere in the galaxy. Or galaxy. Now we have the money, so we can uh, do the high comm satellite mission. Now the ramp is complete, and let's let's collect the polymers. Not much. But better than none. And be sending back the sledgehammer back to Earth. Maybe I should rename. Or rocket. But now, nah. just get back to Earth. We will need a lot of fuel for this. We need a hundred for the mission and uh, and eighty for the rocket. Unless, of course, we finish these advanced engines. Yeah, we need drone hubs. What's that? Extra amplification. We don't really need that. But we need the decom decommission protocols as well. Now we completed the Sector research, uh, which will increase our research points. And that is just just good because we can research the advanced Martian engines, which means we will uh, it's the rocket the rockets will require less fuel. Because uh, they are a eating AT fuel, maybe we can move it down to sixty. Now our supply rocket, rocket is uh, on the way. I put a little bit of extra resources uh, into it because we will need that. We need to quickly put down a concrete depot. And what I decided to do is to get, because we have three supply pods, get another explorer. 400 million no because we have very little money and I want to keep that if we need emergency resources okay 
So it seemed like a good idea at the time. Now the good old sledgehammer just arrived. So we are sending uh, it to the satellite, the HICOM satellite mission. Quickly before they start unloading. The electronics part. Sector scanned. And we have new anomalies. So let's scan them. And also with scanning, I will start Meteor incoming. Okay, don't don't scare me please so i decided to scan this upper section because that's uh, where we start building our colony because because of the the wind basically these uh, wind turbines have a boost if they are on an elevated position and we will building a lot of wind turbines at first before we have the technology and the resource to produce sterling generators or even fusion reactors. I didn't catch how many fuel it needed after we searched the last fuel upgrade. discovered so rapid sleep colonists need to sleep for only one hour and regain extra sanity when sleeping now that's that's a good one i'm tempted to research this early on and let's let's check what kind of research we can do because we are luckily running out of researches Increase cargo space. We will absolutely need this. And we need biotech researches as well. Because I don't want to build hypo hypodronic gardens. I want uh, farms in the domes from the start. There's more to the barren environs of the 3D red machining autonomous sensors. It's also a good one which will help us uh, explore the map. And this will be a mandatory. I move it up. Because just putting down a few sensors will benefit for the exploration for the exploration and also it will warn us uh, meteor showers earlier because the warning is like uh, 17 hours before the meteor storm hits and it's good to know uh, in advance when the meteor storm is coming So we need quite a bit of fuel here. I estimate we can produce 16 per sol. So it's two and a half sol. Okay, we can launch this uh, the sledgehammer in this episode. My concern is that soon the mystery will be will be began. And we are not really prepared for that. Let's clear 
the metals from here. What just happened? Oh, the rover was hit by a meteor. But I don't know where's, where was the rover. Certainly not here. Okay, we need to find the lost rover. Anyone can see the rover, please scream. There. That's an explorer. That's another explorer. Let's move back with these guys. That's the commander. Sector scanned. But where's... Anybody can see it? Uh, I believe I sent it up here. Yeah, to clear these ones. So... Or it is... This completely destroyed. No, I was about to send that over up here. Is it... It can be completely destroyed by a meteor. Usually just breaks. And you can fix that with drones. I can't see it anywhere. That's strange. I didn't know that a rover can be totally obliterate. I don't think I have sent it here. Maybe up here somewhere. Okay, that robot is just just became destroyed. That's that's a big problem. At least it's cheaper. Research complete. I do that. Okay, so... And we don't have the decommission the protocols because...
because he postponed that for the autonomous sensors. You know what, guys? We don't need concrete right now that much. We have quite uh, quite a pile, so we'll just leave it there. I'm turning it off. And we can build another one here. We are almost there. We almost have the fuel and there's the last one. All right, the SETI project is not on its way. We are clearing stuff up here. Uh, we will build a sensor tower. I think we'll put it there. After it is researched. Sector scanned. Good, we have water up here and high graded water. is done we can start planning out uh, the, uh, the colony wow okay we just got some uh, express metal I'm not complaining but what you are doing there is just too dangerous what that's that's enough let's put electronics parts into it and we will put a tower there i figured i will build it anyway and it will become online when we have the technology
it will be available in less than two souls. Okay guys, I think that's it for this uh, episode. I hope you liked it. If you do, please consider give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I see you in the next one. Bye.